In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Dear Mass, we remember the happy repose of the soul of Rose Maguire. We remember in this second Sunday of Advent, a time of making things right. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly understanding hinder those who set out to haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of your heavenly wisdom gain us admittance into his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The first readings from the prophet Marash. Jerusalem, take off your dress of sorrow and distress put on the beauty of the glory of God forever. Wrap the cloak of the integrity of God around you. Put the diadem of the glory of the eternal on your head. Since God means to show your splendor to every nation under heaven, since the name God gives you forever will be peace through integrity and honor through devoteness. Arise, Jerusalem, stand on the heights and turn your eyes to the east. See your sons reassembled from west and east at the command of the Holy One, jubilant that God has remembered them, though they left you on foot with enemies for an escort, how God brings them back to you like royal princes carried back in glory. For God has decreed the flattening of each high mountain, of the everlasting hills, the filling of the valleys to make the ground level so that Israel can walk in safety under the glory of God. And the forests and every fragrant tree will provide shade for Israel at the command of God. For God will guide Israel in joy by the light of his glory. 
with his mercy and integrity for escort. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. Response. The heathens and sailed said, What marvel the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Response. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they weep. Response. They go out, they go out full of tears carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Response. The second readings from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. Every time I pray for all of you, I pray with joy remembering how you have helped to spread the good news from the day you first heard it right up to the present. I am quite certain that the one who began this good work in you will see that it is finished when the day of Christ Jesus comes. God knows how much I miss you all. Loving you as Christ Jesus loves you. My prayer is that your love for each other may increase more and more and never stop improving your knowledge and deepening your perception so that you can always recognize what is best. This will help you to become pure and blameless and prepare you for the day of Christ when you will reach the perfect goodness which Jesus Christ produces in us for the glory and praise of God. And this is the word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight, and all mankind shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the fifteenth year of Tiberius, Caesar reigned. When Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Heard. The Tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, of the lands of Eturia and Trachitonius, during the pontificate of Annas and Cleopas, 
the word that God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went through the whole of the Jordan district, proclaiming the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the saints of the prophet Isaiah. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley will be filled in, and every mountain hill laid low. Winding ways will be straightened, and rough roads will be smooth. All mankind shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Time gallops quickly, and now the second Sunday of Advent. We're preparing, we're praying, and this evening we're focusing on a time of preparation of heart, soul, and body. This is a personal invitation in our Mass this evening to acknowledge Jesus, path, right, straight, having a purpose, and inviting us to leave the busyness of this world and come into the wilderness with him. And in that time, a time of reflection of our lives, our values and attitudes. It is a deeper questioning of our understanding of Jesus and ourselves. We have to see the salvation of God. We have to see the Saviour. We have to see ourselves together in that journey. The person of John the Baptist, the one who prepared the way, especially a preparation of forgiveness, a preparation of repentance. You will see in your bulletin this evening, a time has been set aside for the penitential service. That's the first thing I want you to remember to bring home. So that as we have these particular ways from our gospel this evening, we have something practical, something we can put into practice and make this real and true. We continue as an Advent people. We continue praying. We continue reflecting. We continue internalizing God's word for each one of us this evening to make us more ready to celebrate Christmas time. Please stand. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Make our prayers before our Heavenly Father. God of salvation, we turn to this evening, the one who gives us his Son. Foretold by John the Baptist. We pray for this wisdom. Lord, hear us. We pray for conversion of heart, mind, and body, making our crooked ways straight. Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick of our parish. We pray for the healing touch of Jesus. Lord, hear us. We remember our children and young people, that they will grow in wisdom, grow as an Advent people, preparing to celebrate Christmas properly. Lord, hear us. And we remember our dead, especially in our Mass, Rose Maguire. We pray for all our dead that they enjoy the happiness of heaven. Lord, hear us. These are prayers you make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you for your generosity in our Sunday collection. The Mass times are a number of changes uh, next week. Uh, we have no Mass on Tuesday morning. On Wednesday morning, our Mass will be at 10 a.m. Why? Because at half six, we're having a Christmas carol service uh, given to us by our children from our primary school. So all are welcome to that. It's a beautiful evening. So the Mass time on Wednesday is at 10 a.m. And then the Christmas carol service at half six. You're all welcome to that.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with your protection of mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, for he assumed at the first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hold. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Bless it is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, the Savior of the world, for by cross and rest, you have said. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Rose, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she and all who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We blemish by the food of spiritual nourishment. We humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.